Okay, buddy, there you go. Huh? I'm gonna trim your head now. All right, so today's video is going to be about how to trim a head easier and quicker. And if your, um, you know, your scissoring skills aren't that great, you don't have to worry. I'm gonna show you how to do it and how to do a quick and easy head. Now this dog was overgrown. He's got a lot of hair. It looks kind of cute. Hey, it stands up nicely too. He's a mixed breed, a Maltese poodle. More or less got the poodle hair. And I shaved him down with the 5F. So I gotta shorten this head. It's way too, too big and the owner likes it short. So instead of scissoring this, I mean you could use your you know curved shears. That helps a lot with, with the round head. Or you can use your straight shears, which is a little bit more difficult to make a circle. But if your scissoring silk skills aren't that great, you can use your baby. The comb attachments. These are comb attachments. They, they attach to the blade. This is a 30 blade under here. And these are comb attachments. This is a number E. And it leaves the coat one inch. So what I normally do when I use a comb attachment on the head especially, I use the longest one and then go down from there. I wouldn't want to take the shortest blade and then it looks, you know, too short or, or, or you know, not, not the best. So I always start longer and you can always go shorter. So this is the longest length in E. So I'm just going to see what it looks like and I have a feeling it will still be too long. But then I can just use the, the next one down and then go on and go on, on and on and go short. As short as you know, I, I can go. So this is a number E, and I just want to show you how I use the combs. And so when I use a comb, comb attachment, um, when you shave in the head, right, you can start at the back, but just be careful, like if you're gonna shave it and go, you know, this way, you can go this way down the middle, but when you come to the ears, if you don't wanna leave a line, if you go across like this, you're gonna leave a line here, sort of like when you do a poodle. But if you're looking to do a round head, don't go this way because you'll make a big line and it won't you know, look that good, especially if you want a round head. So you're not gonna come across you know, up here and go there, you're gonna make a line. Unless that's the look you're looking for. If you want a line, then go ahead and, and do the line. But, um, I'm not going to do a line on this little guy, but I am going to start at the back. And I'm just going to start right in the middle. And I'm going to come forward. It's okay. I know. There we go. It's probably going to be too long still because I want to go shorter, his body short. So what I do here is I first make one line down the middle this way and then the sides you want to go this way so you're just going to blend like over the ears so you're not going to have that line um, that you don't want. You don't want to create a line so it's all in the angle of um, you know the angle that you use to clip with because you're going to come down this way and just come off the ears and then there's no line. So I just want to see the length on this. This head's not finished obviously, but I think it's going to be too long still. Yeah, it's going to be too long. So I'm going to try... Okay, so number uh, C is the next one down and that leaves seven eighths of an inch. So I'm actually going to skip this one and I'm going to try the next lower down. So two levels down which is a number A and that leaves three quarters of an inch. So let's see what that looks like. And once I got my desired length, you know, I'll go ahead and clip everywhere and then I still got to use your scissors but this is the main just to get the bulk off. Especially if the dog has um, a lot of hair like this one did. And then you know you gotta spend your time scissoring, 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 correcting. You can even just, you know, even if you can scissor really good, you can use these uh, comb attachments just to get up the bulk and then use your scissors afterwards. I think this is a nice length. Hmm. I think it might be okay. So what I do next is 
Come here, baby. I am going to trim the rest of his face with the same blade. So just make sure his ears are out of the way. Kind of fold them back. You start from the ear canal. And you can, you can go down or you can come like toward his nose. And just hold the nose like this. Come here, baby. I know they struggle sometimes. I'm just flipping the ear back, going down, and down the nose. Let me just see. Okay, so that's going to be too long for the nose. So I want the face uh, shorter. So I'm going to leave the length on the head. So I am going to actually, because the owner likes it short on the face. So I'm going to use a, this is a number one. It leaves it half an inch. So let's see what that looks like. So just the face, not the top knot. I mean, if I wanted to go shorter on the top knot, I can I can use this. But I find the longer blades don't really take a lot off of the face, just because it's hard, you know, to shave the nose and, and all these angles and everything. Let's have a look. Come here. Maybe a little shorter. I think this might be good. Then I can use my scissors. Come here, you're slipping away. <laughs> he likes to slouch. Up, up. There we go. Alrighty. So you can just come forward. And you can even go on top of the nose to get that nose hair off. On top there. Careful of the eyes there. And I've always got my thumb on the jaw to close the mouth. And you can always feel if they're going to lick their lips. You can, you know, feel when they're going to do that. So you have to be careful because you don't want to be, you know, cutting the tongue if the dog happens to stick his tongue out to lick his lips. I can feel it. When I hold the dog like this, you can feel the tongue coming. I think that might look all right. So, I mean, it can go quicker. It's just taking me a while because I'm showing you. I can do this, like, I don't know, in a short, short time. Not very long. So what I do is comb it all out have a look and, and still even if i'm not you know happy with the length i want it shorter i can just go over it shorter again so now i'm just using my straight shears and just cutting over the eyes that way i can see what it looks like you know better once his eyes are clear of all that hair right <laughs> yes you got eyelashes growing everywhere I gotta take that out of your eyes. It's like a curly eyelash. And he does have calcium deposits in his eyes. I could see the white spots there. But the owner knows. Now he's got very sparse hair and you can kind of see his skin. So I'm not gonna use the clipper, you know, on his nose here because it's very thin. And not go too close to the skin. Just so you, you know, when you look at him, you don't want to see this big bald spot on top of his nose. Come here. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? You need to do. There. So we still got some hair. Let's get in the corner right now. Oh, you can see now. You can see now. Now you can see me. Yeah, poor little guy. Couldn't see very good, huh? Look at you. Now you're getting better. There. So the length doesn't look too bad, right? I mean, some people like it longer, some people like it shorter, but I have to do what my clients like and not what I like. Sometimes they let me do whatever I want. Just make sure you get all those hairs by the ears, by the ear opening, because you don't want those hairs to go in the ear, and it ruins the look as well. I know you get sensitive ears. When I trim there, he... Uh, Lose his head to be careful. There, we're getting there, buddy. Here we are. There. So, once you get used to, you know, using the comb attachments, it becomes easier and easier and easier. And if you ever groom a dog, like if you're a groomer and you have other dogs that are going short and they have a nice, you know, curly coat like this, you can um, practice with it. If they want the head really, really short, 
You can practice first, take you know, with your comb attachments, because you're going to be cutting the head short anyways, right? So you can always practice with um, another dog if the hair is going short. Ah, you're looking cute. So yeah, I just use my scissors to come here, trying to deep me out, huh? Darren, I've got too much hair on his cheek. Yeah, so I'm just using my scissors to tidy it up, but most of the bulk was uh, came off with my comb attachments. Otherwise, I would have been standing there, you know, clipping around and around, or scissoring around and around and around until I got the desired length. So it does save time, especially if you're working in a busy grooming salon and you just need to get the dogs, you know, done, or you only have a certain amount of time to get the dogs done. You use the tools that will help you the most. I mean, still the out the outcome, like the the final look, will look the same. Hey, the owner's not going to know if you use scissors or comb attachment. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what you use, as long as the final look is is good. It doesn't matter. Heck, if you use your teeth. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Thought that was funny. Anyway, so. You know, I remember hearing groomers saying, oh, that's, you know, you use the scissors or use this or use this. It doesn't matter what you use to get there, right? It's the tools that are going to help you uh, with the finished look. See, look, I could have did that with the scissors too. Come here. Now, it might not be perfectly straight because my camera's right near my elbow there and I have a hard time, you know, moving my elbow without blocking the view. So usually when I'm done grooming, I go over the dog just to make sure I didn't miss anything. As I'm sure sometimes you're saying, oh, she missed a spot. But it's not the end of the world, right? It's only hair. As long as it's cute and clean and matte free, it will look nice. There. I think you look okay. And let me see. Come, come, come. And what I do here is I comb up. I don't want my elbow in the way. Comb this up. Because as soon as the dog lays down, that hair is going to go in the eye. You see how it's going in the eye? There. Like, see this hair here? Right here? It wasn't there before until I combed it, right? So I comb it up and you cut that off because now when the dog goes home or shakes or rolls around, this hair here won't stick up. So just comb it up and back toward the eyes and you can clip that off. Because otherwise if you just comb it, it looks nice, but as soon as the dog's going to roll around and mess around and shake its head, it's all going to be sticking up everywhere. And just comb everything forward. I like to turn the dog to the side, comb it out and cut anything sticking out. Make it like flush with the nose like this and make it round. So you follow it and go up, up, like that. Now I didn't have much coat near the actual nose, but it's nice. It's nice like this and it keeps it out of the food, right? Keeps it clean, keeps it out of the mouth. There and also these little bitty hairs that are on top of the nose, nostrils, whatever you call this thing here. It just looks like rubber. Um, <laughs> I just trimmed that off. There. So let me know if you do this, if you've tried the comb method and then scissor afterwards, or if you, if you leave a line on the other side. Every time I lick the lines is, uh, you don't want a poodle or, or a Shih Tzu, but it's a personal preference, right? It's a personal preference. I, I don't see a lot of groomers making that line. And I know when I get new dogs or, or dogs that went away and came back and they show me the line and they, they hate that line, they say, what they do to my dog? Because most people want to see a nice, continuous, um, you know, what do you call this? The hair to go around instead of making a line. Right? It just, just looks nicer. It makes it nice and round. Mm-hmm. I hope I gave you some tips on how you can 
you know, trim the head faster and save some time. There, I think it looks okay. Maybe a little bit of sticky outies here and there, but overall, it looks okay and it kind of matches the body. The body was done with a 5F. This dog has allergies, so you'll notice some spots. <laughs> I didn't do that, I trimmed the tail. But anyway, this is more about the face, right? More about the face, so beautiful. I think mommy's outside. Wait, I see it here. Let me get it out. Ah, there we go. Is mommy outside? <gasps> mommy's outside, yay! Okay, thanks for watching. <laughs> we'll see you next time.